same model, same triangular distribution. How does it work with that risk? Well, let's create an assumption. Step one, go to the gallery. Step two, we pick a distribution. Step three, oh, and look at that. Step three, we pick our parameters. So step three, and step four, the name. And we're done, so four steps. Steps to copy, one color coding zero and steps to create an output so let's see how that works and add output Oops. here we go so steps, well, we needed to one, two steps. Okay. And let's run a simulation, see how the rest works out. So start simulation. So we're already at 90, but if we wanted to make it 90, we can just write here 85 or 90. There we go. And we can see that the upper and lower bound, so that's pretty clean. Um, if we want to look at the correlation, so rank correlation, it's a very clean chart. It was one click away. And we have the, the various ranks over here. And they're identified, so kudos for that. However, if we want to look at the various at the various other statistics, we have to go elsewhere. So in that case, if we want to look at the detailed statistics, we have the same as we did in Vos model risk. And you can see the total with the various percentiles and then all set. So the statistics are there. However, if we want to look at the various other numbers, so we can look at the simulation, so the actual trials, and we can browse the results like this. So I would say it's probably around three. But we're so in the case of model risk, uh, the model building is actually extremely efficient. Um, very few steps are involved here. However, um, when it comes, the only the only thing the only caveat is when you're looking at the results. There, it's in three windows instead of just one. Small price to pay. Um, so the next package we're going to look at is going to be Risk Solver. We'll be right back.